Good morning, uh, Covenant City Church members and anybody else who may be listening to these morning devotionals. Uh, two weeks ago, I uh, started to do a devotional on the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, but I didn't get through it all because uh, we kind of went deep into it and we only got to the first half. So what I'm going to do this week is continue again in the Lord's Prayer as found in Matthew 6. And I'm going to read the whole prayer again. I'm going to quickly summarize what we talked about two weeks ago, and then I'll continue to teach on the rest of the passage. So let me read uh, the Lord's Prayer first, Matthew 6, verses 9 to 13. Uh, let me read it out. Jesus says, Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So again, just a reminder, the context here is that Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray in contrast to how the Pharisees prayed. Um, that he rebuked just before this, the Pharisees prayed out loud in the middle of the streets to kind of show people how spiritual they are and how, um, how, how great they are and how religious they are. And Jesus is saying, don't, don't do that. Uh, don't pray like that. Instead, uh, instead of being self-centered and self-focused uh, of your own reputation and glory as you pray, this is instead how you should pray. And the things he told his people to pray for here are interesting. You see a lot of them in this passage. First, he says, pray uh, our Father in heaven. Uh, so there's a communal aspect uh, to prayer. You're not just concerned about yourself. You're concerned about the gospel community that you are in or um, a Christians as a whole, not, not just yourself. And then our Father in heaven, you see there immediately, uh, Jesus tells us to address uh, God as Father. And the gospel comes to mind there, the fact that the Son of God died for our sins so that we can call him Father comes to mind. So think about community, think about gospel, but also think about um, the bigness of God, our Father who is in heaven, you see. So there's a, there's a transcendent bigness about God in heaven, but yet this big transcendent God in heaven is willing to come down to us um, and, and, and be our Father by sending his Son to die on a cross for our sins so community god's bigness god's imminence god with us right dying for our sins and when you understand that um how big god is but yet how much he was willing to die for you you then will fall into worship when you fall into worship um you will then want to glorify god and 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 say hey your kingdom come you know your will be done on earth as it is in heaven so another thing to pray for is not only to uh for the community uh, that we may uh, remember the gospel, that we may view God as big and transcendent. But when we do so, we will then also, uh, we're called here uh, to obey God, to desire his will to be done and bring heaven down to earth, right? Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is a place where God's will is being done joyfully. And uh, that earth would also look like that, starting with us uh, uh, obeying God's will joyfully and also helping others. Um, to follow the Lord uh, with a gospel-centered um, uh, desire to glorify him who died for them. So our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And now we're going to continue the rest of the Lord's prayer that we didn't cover two weeks ago. Verse 11, give us this day our daily bread. There's so much packed in this one sorry, my, uh, my uh, battery was low there. But there's so much packed uh, in this this one verse said, give us this, this our da daily bread. Again, not give me my daily bread, but give us our daily bread. There's again, there's, there's not a selfishness here. Uh, there, there's a communal concern about those in our community who are in need of uh, provision. So give us our daily bread, not our yearly bread, right? Uh, so there's a, Jesus is reminding us to pray for a trust uh, in the Lord that he will provide and that what we are given today is enough, such a hard thing uh, to do and to remember, right? But this is the call that Jesus tells us, give us this daily bread, not weekly, not monthly, not yearly, but give us what we need today and let us um, let us trust you for it's tomorrow. Uh, uh, the manna in Exodus comes to mind here where Jesus says, just take what's enough for today and trust that tomorrow I'll give you more. Don't pick more than what you need and give us our daily bread, not our daily steak, not our daily caviar. There's also a call here towards simplicity. So you see, just in this one verse, Jesus is saying, pray for not only your need, but the needs of your community. And if you're called to action, please do so, which 
most of the time uh, we are, we often are uh, should or often should be um, give us our daily not yearly bread not steak um, pray for for uh, concern for others pray for faith pray for a desire for a life of simplicity not uh, overly abundance uh, at the expense of others verse 12 and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors Jesus is saying here, remember uh, that uh, you should forgive others in the same way that God has forgiven you. Um, and then verse 13, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So pray for holiness. You should desire holiness um, and not just um, uh, uh, not just prayers of uh, requests all the time to the Lord. Pray that the Lord will help you fight sin. Pray that the Lord will help you value um, holiness and value purity uh, not in order to gain salvation remember that's already been addressed in the very beginning of the prayer pray father you can already pray father because of what christ did for you but um uh, because now you're his child uh be then holy like he is holy all right so here's a summary of what uh, we're called to pray for oops sorry about that here's a summary of what we're called to pray for in in the in the lord's prayer uh, verse 9, pray for um, that we would have a communal view of our Christian walks. Uh, pray that we would be reminded of the gospel. Uh, pray also that we're reminded God is in heaven and that he's transcendent and he's big, but yet this big God is willing to become our father. Uh, so, uh, And also pray for um, uh, our desire to glorify him because if once we are reminded that God who is in heaven was willing to come down to die for us so that... Um, uh, he could be our father, send his son to die for us. We will have this desire to glorify him, hallow his name, uh, his kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Play, uh, pray for a, a, a uh, concern for communal need. Uh, pray for faith, right? Daily bread, not yearly bread. Pray for simplicity, daily bread, not daily caviar or steak. Uh, pray that we would extend the same gospel and forgiveness to others as we have received it. And pray for holiness. All right, so that, in a summary, is what we are called to uh, pray for in the Lord's in the Lord's prayer, and um, I do pray that that these things in which Jesus values so much um, would seep into our hearts deeply as we pray the Lord's prayer, hopefully daily, and and of course every week uh, in in our Sunday services. All right, so I hope this has been an encouragement to you, and uh, let me close us in prayer. Father, we do pray that. All of these values of the kingdom that you have established here in the way you've told us to pray would seep deep, deeply into our hearts. We often forget uh, that we are a saved community, not just individuals. We often forget that you are a father. Uh, we, we often think you as far away, but also we often drag you down and forget that you are uh, high above us and, and transcendent and big and worthy of praise. We forget um, our call to bring your kingdom down and, and, and obey your will. We forget uh, to desire simplicity. Um, we often pray uh, for comfort instead of faith, knowing that what we have today is enough. We often forget to pray um, that we would forgive others. We often instead wish justice and demise upon those who we uh, are have been offended by or, or do not like. And we very rarely pray for holiness that it would be one of the last things we pray for but yet you have said in your word your will is our sanctification help us father uh, to be more like this and thus by doing so be joyful christians who desire to glorify you in jesus name we pray amen